Be right back to our phone callers. Next up is Ryan listening in Dallas, Texas on the World Wide Web. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Hank. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Great. My question is this. I'm uh, at a point in my life where I'm starting to think seriously about uh, praying for and pursuing a spouse. And uh, my question to you is basically, how much weight is it okay for a Christian to put on physical attractiveness or attraction when choosing a spouse? Well, I think it's one of the considerations, but it certainly shouldn't be the only consideration. I mean, you should also have a very, and maybe foremost, have a very robust view of your yoking together for purposes not only of raising children, if God should so bless you, but also in furthering his kingdom, where the two of you together are going to be a far more potent power in the consummation of the kingdom or furthering the consummation of the kingdom than you would be by yourself. So your your religious attraction is something that should ultimately be at least as strong or stronger than your romantic attraction. Okay, great. So you wouldn't go along with the school of thought that it is only the inner that matters and that you should try to see the inner beauty as God sees and have no care for uh, physical attraction? No, I, I wouldn't go along with that at all. I think that, you know, God brings people together through this attractive process. I mean, this is something that God has given to us. I mean, the whole idea of romance or love is not a secular concept. It is a distinctly Christian concept. There is, however, a secularization of romanticism. And in fact, we did an article in the Christian Research Journal, which is titled a Reconsideration of Romantic Love by Rob Whitley. And I think that article would be very important for you to read at this juncture, given your question. But certainly having said that, I don't think that we eliminate that attraction or simply regard these as secular functions. I mean, there's a secularization of it, but there's certainly a Christian component to it as well. I mean, read the Song of Songs sometime if you want to get some kind of an idea of what romantic love is all about. Okay, that sounds like a perfect answer. Thanks so much for your time, Hank. Hey, you got it. Thank you so much for your call.